Hey guys, Slidfire here. Welcome back to M Creator. Yay. Okay, so I figured I'd live stream this because. Wait, holy crap, this room's like way more echoey. So this week school started, so I figured let's just get like kind of like a new fresh area. So I'm I moved to a different bedroom in my house that wasn't occupied. And this room seems to echo a lot. And plus I have to be kind of quiet because it's nighttime. Oh, hello there, Zeppy Brawl Stars. So, yeah, um, I'm in this new room now, so if I, my mic sounds different because, like, echoing, then I might have to put, like, mats on the walls and stuff like that to make the sound a little better. Sup, hi, I got a new gaming PC today. That's pretty exciting, dude. I remember when I got this thing, I was so pumped. Happy for you. I can play games like you now. Yeah. So, I'm doing M Creator. <laughs> Alright, so I, I don't know where I ended last episode. I remember I added all these the other night because I was like, I don't know. I was kind of bored, so I added all this stuff. I was, but I was going to explain what it is. So um, I finally added Sether Quartzite, which is like the ingot for like the first ore we added. Sether Quartzite right here. This is the ingot. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's just an ingot, and then that's used to make this, which, yeah, it all goes into like more detail so let me see if i can explain so i don't really remember what i was doing because this was at like 11 30 at night <laughs> so uh let's see so in, anyway we i did a bunch of tomato stages so now the plants and stuff all work nicely i got that all figured out using like a bunch of stages and stuff like that so yeah all the plants are good uh the sether quartzite uh how do you get this hang on okay yeah, yeah. so sether quartzite you get from smelting the sether rack right there and then you get let's see to get this it's does that does this have a crafting recipe yet i think i gave it a, a crafting recipe i had to have did i not yet all right but i gave enriched quartzite block a recipe because my thought was we'll use the sether quartzite in the erectrant chamber to get enriched quartzite and then we can use that to make a block. Then we enrich the quartzite block in the enrichment chamber. We get energy, which we can then use for more stuff. And then we'll add another dimension later on that gets more energy. So, yeah, then energy will be used for a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get on into this. So I wanted to add another set of armor called, like, energy infused. Like, another set of tools and armor. So it could be like energy infused quartzite or something like that. I'd like I don't know what I'd call it though. It's gonna be like quite a bit better than diamond. It's gonna give you like jump boost and speed. So not quite flying, but it's almost there. Let's get into this. So Ritanium block is gonna be gotten somehow. I think that's when lightning strikes an enriched quartzite block. Or no, right I'm an idiot. Ritanium block is just nine ingots of Ritanium. I don't think I gave that a crafting recipe yet. But Wait, okay, so these random things right here, um, when, oh yeah, 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 so you just, if you set, if you click this block with the, um, enrichment tool, I think that's, that's this thing, material enricher, when you right click a titanium block with that, you're gonna get energy, oh, what do I have here? Yeah, whenever you're, whenever this is in your inventory, it gives you speed and poison at the same time, <laughs> So it kind of affects you, like it makes you go fast, but you have poison. So it might not be worth it. Um, I have to add a crafting recipe for enrichment chamber. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make that yet. But let's just go in the game. Let me just show you guys what I did. Uh, I got a glass of water here because I don't want coffee because that'll wake me up too much. But water is nice because it will give me just enough energy. Okay, we got a lot of comments that I just forgot to read. Watermelon, so solid question. Why can't I play Septech Ages without I can't play Stone Block? That's a lot of stuff on my PC. Um, are you using Twitch? Like the Twitch launcher? Because I use Twitch when I play those two mod packs. Um, maybe your PC doesn't match the requirements needed for that because those are some big mod packs. And I know even sometimes my PC struggles with mod packs when I don't have the resolution correct. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, you're on Twitch. I presume is what you're answering. Yeah, it might be that you need to allocate more RAM that's something that's very possible um yes yeah, so right here like try to allocate it so it says i don't know if you have eight gigabytes of ram try going for six thousand megabytes 
that's usually a good amount. I usually use like three quarters of what I have for Minecraft, if that's the only thing I'm doing. So let's create a new world actually. We'll go into creative. I'm probably gonna stream for an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I stream for an hour and a half though, that's a pretty long stream. I think I need to put like WD-40 or some kind of thing to make this chair not squeak. <laughs> it just doesn't work, but I feel like Skyblock is super clean. Skyblock? Skyblock's vanilla, isn't it? Anyway, all right, let's get the bushes here. So, bush. So let's grab bam, bam, and bam. So, check this out. So it has a bunch of stages, but you won't be able to tell what stage it's in. I just did that to add delay. I had to add more stages using the random tick rate that's already automatically built into the game. And I also used, like, whenever the tick rate happens, it goes on to the next stage, and then it goes through four stages before it finally grows. So it actually takes a little bit of time to grow. I'll do tomatoes down here. Uh, just to show you that it works with all of them there's our tomatoes right there and then we'll sauce our onions over here yeah just like that so i was also kind of screwing around in between episodes and was adding a bunch of random crap uh but i, I deleted everything that i added so let me just make sure i don't have a uh, stormbreaker still in the game <laughs> yeah i found a model and i added stormbreaker to the game maybe i can add it back video output low whoa are you guys having issues with the video right now? Uh, hey, I'm just gonna ask that in the chat because you might not be able to hear me. Is the uh, live stream having issues? Because it says video output low. Yeah. Okay. I can hear you a bit. So like, Okay, so right here, yeah, lettuce. You right-click it, and bam, it's harvested. Because this is a new room. Uh, maybe the Wi-Fi is slower up here. I don't know why it would be faster in the freaking basement, but... Alright, yeah, so the lettuce grows after a little while. It typically grows at around the same time. Uh, tomato. We got onions over here. That's pretty snazzy. Um, yeah, I might add it even slower eventually. Not for a while, not until like, the end of the mod pack. And it froze and unfroze. No, I didn't freeze. It was just I had my inventory open while I clicked off, so it looked like it froze, but it didn't. Uh, here, I'm just gonna... I don't know if there's like a little loading bar I can do or something that shows you when it's frozen and not frozen. Um, I don't know how to fix that. But yeah, so if it freezes again, just be like, Hey, Mr. Solidifier, you smell bad. And I'll be like, okay, thanks. Alright, so right here, uh, energy ingot. Yeah, it... And then it gives, yeah, it glows and it gives you speed and poison. So if I were in survival slash game mode at zero, yeah, so you get speed and poison. So <laughs> it's not really worth it. I'll just, if you have it in your inventory, just try to drop it quick. Because look at that, I'm almost dead. <laughs> yeah, so let's quickly go back to game mode one. Get rid of that. Um, Sether quartzite ingot. It's pretty snazzy. Uh, enriched quartzite. I took out Sether once it's enriched, and you got the material enricher, which does nothing because I don't have a uh, UI for it yet. But it, I kind of tried to copy a furnace look, with, but a little more white and more industrial kind of, and it's got like a nice little circle. So I was thinking to make this would have like you need to get energy somehow, which I don't really know how you'd get it. Or no, yeah, right-clicking the, uh, what, what's it called, um, name, Ritanium. Right-clicking this block with a material enricher gets you the ingot. See that? And then, so we can get rid of that. Bam, sauce that into there. So let's try it again. And it also strikes lightning, which is pretty sick. Bam, so yeah, we get the ingot of energy. That's pretty snazzy. I'll try resetting your YouTube invalid tooth. Maybe B or B, bing bong. It freezes again, then it's me. Okay. So I need to add a GUI. So oh, I have a misleading thumbnail. I'm going to have to redo that after the stream's over. Um, yeah, so. Um, oh, wait, shoot. I forgot to change my description. <laughs> um, hang on. Let me just delete the entire, or almost the entire subscription. Hey, please. Um, uh, delete. No, please. Backspace, there we go. So now I have no description. Nice. And also, if you guys haven't already, uh, if you join my Discord server, you can participate in the giveaway that's coming up. So that's pretty cool. I actually made that an advertisement a few days ago. 
I've been doing that a lot lately where I make things advertisements. It's pretty fun. So yeah, um, I need to add a crafting recipe for this and add a GUI. Um, I need to create a crafting recipe for this. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's hop back onto M Creator and let's make that stuff happen. So. All right, let's do this. So add recipe for the titanium block right here. Okay, I spelled it wrong, but that's okay. So we're gonna go to custom elements and use nine ingots will craft the block. There we go. So yeah, you can see how tedious this is. That's why I usually do this part off cam. Because this stuff is like tedious. It's just clicking. It's very annoying. But that's why live streaming is hard. Because you got to try to fill in like the gap of like when you're talking and not talking. So yeah, that's good. Save mod element. Bam. Got that. Now we need to add. I said we added GUI before we add the crafting recipe for this. Uh, was my knocking up? So maybe it's bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna add a GUI. So we're gonna call this enrichment chamber. No, okay, it didn't let me do that. Uh, let's try again. Enrichment, I spelled that wrong. Chamber GUI. If you guys haven't noticed, I am super tired right now because like I've been super busy all weekend through school and crap. and. School gets harder as it gets further in, I really must say. So we're gonna, so this is like the little GUI that's gonna pop up on the screen when you open it. So we're gonna go 450 and 350 is about good. Right there, so that's what the GUI will look like when you open it. Okay, yeah, no, we, we want some slots. Yeah, so it'll show the inventory. Nice. Um. All right, so let's think, what do we wanna do? We'll have a energy it's so like you put in energy into it and you put in something and it enriches it. So one energy and get add an input slot. Uh, in order to have it new, you must have at least one inventory. What? Bind GUI to block. Yeah. Enrichment chamber. Inventory list, inherited. What? Um, text of the button at an input slot. Okay. Um, okay, what's inherited? What the heck is this? Delete. Centaur is inherited from block cannot be removed. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, add input slot. Slot ID. We'll give it an ID of one. A uh, color, that's fine. Limit stack input to energy. Add a slot. We're going to put it. Oh, I wish there was a better way of lining this up. Right there. Oh, that's not perfect. Can I change that? Can I change where that is positioned? Oh, I can. Okay, that's promising. So later on, I can change it. Okay, that one. Add another input slot. I'm gonna call this slot two. Uh, no, there's not gonna be a defined limit that it needs or a defined thing. Oh, that's a little higher. I gotta move that. Dang it. Okay. Oh, that was one. Okay, I gotta line this one up. Come on. Right there. Okay, let's move this one then. Right there. Okay, that's as good as I'm gonna get it. So, we're gonna add an output slot. We, that can have a slot ID of zero. We're gonna put that one over here. There we go. So now, I'm, dude, what? happening okay it just snapped her all right um 
So is there a way I can make this like, so it has to be a certain salad should commit sleep. Now we just end the stream and go to sleep. Um, okay, yeah, a lot of comments are happening. I'm not gonna read them all because it's just Sockfish and Saber Hero. They're probably just talking casually. I'm not gonna go to sleep right now, guys. I'm gonna finish the stream first. But it sounds like like it's tough because I can't like record at night anymore. Like or I can't like record late at night, which used to be when I recorded. But all right, how the heck do I make it so that it gives you an output? Okay, slot zero. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Save mod element. Is that it? Okay. Hang on, show compile log. Um. Oh yeah, because it doesn't have like an if then thing. Okay. What the heck? How do I like get the uh, GUI to work? Um. We're gonna add text labels. Wait, add text input. Add text label. We'll just call it energy. And then that'll be like goldish color. Energy. And then we'll do input two and that'll be let's see yellow and blue are gonna make green so I'll, call, I'll make this one blue input two and then add text label called output which is gonna be green because why not there we go output there we go uh, is school more important because it should be sure that's why it's telling you to sleep but hey I'm not saying anything uh, okay yeah let's not like call each other names um okay so to get this to work I'm gonna need to add custom or not custom GUIs that's what I'm doing right now I need to add uh without so uh no um render background layer yeah, why would I not want that? Bind UI to block, enable tile entity and inventory on this block needs to be checked on the block you bind to. Um, add button, add image. No, everything's fine. Really? I could have done that this entire time? Okay. Hold on, let's see. Can I move these in nice? Really? Are you serious? Should have done that a long time ago. Been, do, do, do. Just singing songs now. I'm so tired. But it's fine. I gotta finish this stream. Then I can sleep. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah. Let's just not say that. Sockfish. Alright. So now I don't need the grid. Awesome. So, how do I get this to work? Because I need to add a uh, thingy so that when I input this and this, it'll output something. So, let's uh, click on output, add output slot, slot ID, cancel. Inventory slot belongs, do I have to add new inventory slots then? Um, I think I might output and we'll call one input because I don't want to quickly google a uh, tutorial on how to do this because that would be awkward so we only want one inventory slot so we can delete that and add it again output 
one slot, bam. And then we're gonna call this energy, give it one slot, bam. And actually delete that. Oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna delete these three slots right here. Bam, bam, and bam. And we're gonna add it back, add input, slot ID one. I'll limit it to energy. Uh, when item is placed in slot, is there a broadcast thing I can do? Um, maybe. Like, there's no uh, global variables I can really add. Add slot. Okay, we'll go like that. Let's add another slot. Call it slot two. Um, add slot. I forgot to change the inventory of this slot. Hang on. Okay, slot two, delete. Add input slot. This is going to be input slot two, add slot. There we go. Now we're going to add another slot called output. Wait a minute. It's called slot zero. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now that should work. Save mod element. Will this actually work? It's coding. Will it compile though? No, it won't. Okay. Uh, show compile log. Let's see what's wrong. Yeah, it's got an if, but nothing under that. Um. This is weird because it's like Hang on, I'm gonna have to like Google this or something. <sighs> Alright, right here. Uh let's see. M creator how to add GUI for uh new furnace. I don't want to watch a video because I feel like that's going to get struck with copyright. Uh, hi, I'd like to know if there's a possibility to create a new kind of first or craft table, the GUI option M creator. You can do this, for example, the animated image of the arrow. I don't know how to do it. But now with the slots, you can do a mini craft table. Just test that there are some items you want in specific slots and the items disappear. And you want to appear in another slot. I'm from Spain. Sorry for my bad English. We're going to know test paper. I'd like to see someone do it since I'm here before. Okay. That's unhelpful. <laughs> Add menu to create custom furnished GUI menu. We are done to make another mod element. The GUI with most of the features make functional furnace. We'll add more options. Okay, so I, do I need to keep deleting these then? Delete, delete, and delete. No. Add input. Uh, define to energy. This is going to be our energy slot right there. It's going to be one. And we're going to add a procedure that's hopefully not local. So we're going to say um, let's see. Can I like make a variable then? I think, well this one's not gonna be global though. Hang on a sec. A uh, Google equals not say, shut up. <laughs> How to make a, a global variable M creator. <laughs> How do I find a custom global variable? This is gonna be like terms I have no idea. Uh, just press on the variable list and add a new variable. That's no longer a thing though, is it? Cause like, remember that used to be a thing. I used to have to use that sometimes, but 
I don't think you can do that anymore, can you? Yeah, no, shut up. Uh, add. No. Global events and variables. Yeah, this. Um, okay, yeah, there's nothing. I don't know, so I'd add. Never going to get better, but not getting better. Never going to get better. Uh, why do I need to know this? Add prime, dang it. Add the idea. Okay. Images for how to make a. Okay. What's he doing here? Um. Okay, we gotta figure something out here. Add a procedure. I have the i. I have the idea. What's your idea? Okay, so now they're just full on co having a conversation in the chat. <laughs> um. World management. World data. Okay. Can I like add a variable for the block itself? Um, okay, let's just add, uh, call procedure. Wait, yeah, I can call procedures. So that's how I can do global things. Okay, then that could work. Uh, text dependency number depend. Yeah, we're gonna have to call a procedure then. Okay. So right here, we're gonna click back. So, oh, I don't want that. Okay, event trigger. So once that's added, we're going to, uh, we're gonna call this variable energy. Is that a string? That's a string, yeah. Add it, custom variables, uh, set local energy to uh, one, please, <laughs> this is, no, stop it, <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's a string, okay, delete, bam, yes, delete, okay, it's got to be a number, energy, and now custom variables, set it to math, we got to set it to one, yeah, Make a pick and just put it on the screen. Play some non copyright music and figure. What are you doing? And mute your mic. And this is to you, sell and not save it. Wait, what? Okay, make a pick and just put it on the screen and play some non copyrighted music and figure out what you're doing. Oh yeah, go to bad mode. Okay, save it. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get the energy. I could put on music because my voice is very. Let's uh, open Spotify real quick. Really, I need to install it. All right, we're just gonna install it real quick. All right, yeah, it's on the other screen. Install. Pending. All right. Let's see. So we're gonna set local energy to one, and then. Uh. Let's see, now we need to, how do I check if, okay, this is too much work. <laughs> Hang on, I don't, I don't wanna do this. Um, I might just take uh, Sockfish's idea, or maybe I can do the GUI in between episodes off camera. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's give a quick thing. Um, I want to skip that if you guys are watching this after it's already released maybe well you can't really skip past it because you already watched through it so yeah um let's see for now we're just gonna have to add a temporary way to get
the enriched quartzite. So I'm just going to say that a ritanium block and an energy ingot is going to get you nine enriched quartzite. Wait a minute. No. Three energy ingots and six. Oh, that's a lot though. We'll just do an energy ingot and a sether quartzite. We'll get you enriched quartzite for now. So yeah, we're going to add that recipe. Like this is this is definitely not temporary. Um, enriched quartzite. So we're gonna put quartzite along the outside here, just like this. So that gives that cellar quartzite an actual use to the game, because this is gonna this is what's gonna take it to the next dimension. But we also do have to add mobs to make this game somewhat difficult. So. I guess we could do that this episode. I can show you guys how I model stuff, and then we can do that. So uh, let's look at that. Do, 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 do. I'll give you nine. Save not element. Okay. Now. Can I mute Saber Salad? You can. For saying go to bed. I'm trying to help. Okay, yeah. Saber Hero. If you keep saying that, I'm going to have uh, Invalid Tooth mute you. But if... Yeah, I'm not going to bed until at least 9.30. Alright. Uh, let's see. Now I need to add in... Another set of armor. Okay. What does the winner of the giveaway get? A $20 Steam, Amazon, or iTunes gift code. Make the dub. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to add a mob for this uh, dimension. What kind of mob should I add? I'm going to ask you guys stream right now. So right now we got a duck. So while I'm waiting for this, I'm actually going to make a uh, pickaxe. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that quick while I'm waiting for some answers to come in. So we're going to open paint dot. Actually, what I do is... Um, well, I don't really want you guys to see my desktop. Uh, I guess you'd see it if I do that. So we're just going to do MC mod. It's a folder. There we go. I open it. And then this has all the stuff that's pretty much in the mod, like all the textures. So I, I also have this so I can like kind of see how I want this stuff to look. So right here we're going to open a diamond pickaxe. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to take that, turn that up. Okay, perfect. So I can get that pixel back to brown, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to adjustments, hue saturation, and we're going to hue this to match the color we want. So let's see, that's a nice sharp blue. So we're going to click on this, we're going to make it a sharper blue. I'd say right there. I think that's perfect. Okay, and then we gotta click off, get this guy, bam. So that's the pickaxe. So we're gonna file, save as, what are we gonna call this? Uh, quartzite pickaxe, bam, okay. And now we gotta do that to all the tools, so um, do it to the X. So same thing, we go bam. Okay, that's a little too tolerant. That's perfect. So now adjustments, Q saturation, perfect. Right there, file, save as. Quartz, uh, quartz, quartz height X. Bam, bam, nice. And now the sh shoot. Open with paint on it. Ah, crap. I lost the little setting I had there. Hang on. Okay, yeah, now I can't get it back. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, right there, we're going to go to adjustments, use saturation. We went this way, a little saturated and a little darker. All right, then, file save as quartzite shovel bam 
Now let's not close out of this. Instead, we'll just click off. And now we do the diamond sword. All right. So, um, Doc Goose, I want to win a copy of Terra Tech for PC. Yeah, you can buy Terra Tech with the twenty dollars Steam gift card. Also, when is the giveaway done? Four seventy subs. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hmm. I want a hamster. Why? I don't know another pet. That's why. Or a shark. Okay. Or a bird. Or bald eagle. I want to be a mod on the stream because America. Okay. Uh, paint up net, and then we're gonna saturate this. Oh yeah, the sword was the most difficult one because this like it's just tough. So let's see. We're gonna crap, crap, crap. <laughs> There's like nothing I can do to not get the wood. So here's what I usually do. So. What I did for the sword last time is I click on the wood, I copy it, uh, where's the layers? Over here, add a layer, paste it, show the layers invisible, and then I just do this entire layer, like this, then I go adjustments, hue, saturation, bam, and then I flatten it, and then bam, there's our sword, file save as, Quartz, I, quartz, eight, sword. Okay, so I got all the tools. I close out of it again. I still need to do the diamond armor. Okay, so it sounds like you can get terror attack with twenty. Oh, it's twenty-five. Oh, they must have changed the price then. That's upsetting. Okay, make the duck. Okay, so somebody says duck, goose, so this hamster. I'm thinking a land animal. So, um, a type of land animal. Like, what? Like, an aggressive mob. So, like, I don't know. Like a setter bear or something like that. I don't know. Let's be creative. We can make up our own type of animal. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start doing these. Open with paint.net. I'm just going to open all of them so then it'll warn me if I try to close out and I'll be like, whoa. Come on. Open with paint.net. And then I need the leggings. Open with paint.net. Open with paint.net. Okay, I think Spotify is done.
Okay, we're back. So, sorry, just my dad came in to talk real quick. All right, so we're gonna open Spotify now. So, and if that happens again, how is it still downloading? What? What the heck? Why is this taking forever? Oh my goodness. It's crazy, dude. You're a bad boy, yeah. Sure. Alright. Okay, Spotify, hello. Now we're just gonna have to do this on YouTube then. I didn't wanna have to come to this, but. Uh, NCS live stream. Alright, there we go. So it's, uh, OBS. If you ever buy okay, anything from Apple. Them. Uh, I can't tell if he's actually going to... Attention that. Okay, yeah, 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 it does work. But I'm going to need it quieter than me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there we go. Okay, you guys can barely hear it, though. Hang on, let me get this going. Alright, yeah, that's good. Or, okay, so tell me if you guys want the music louder or quieter. Uh, your computer is garbage. What do you mean? Oh, you guys are talking to each other. Okay, yeah, if you guys want to, like, argue, maybe don't argue here, and you can, like, argue in, um, what do you call it? Not here in Discord. <laughs> that would be helpful if you guys could not argue here. It's open in paint.net. There we go. All right, so then for all these, we're gonna get the same kind of texture thing. So right here, adjustments, go bluer, a little more saturated and a little darker. Perfect. And same thing here, adjustments. There we go. Adjustments. There we go. This is nice. It's relaxing. Adjustments. Adjustments. All right, yeah, some files save as. Okay, some quartzite leggings. Okay. File save as quartzite. What is this? A helmet. Helmet and file save as quartzite boots. There we go. Okay, file save as. All right, so did you guys discuss any mobs yet? Um, I mean, ducks and goose is hand, so. Okay, I'm just gonna have to come up with something if nobody's gonna give me any cool answers. Quartzite. I think this is the chest piece, yeah. Chest plate. Um, save as quartzite layer one. Cause these have to be named like that and otherwise it won't work for some reason. So we're gonna do that again. Quartzite layer two and there we go. Now we got all the stuff right here. That's nice. So let's see, we're gonna scroll down. Uh, a bear. Okay, that's actually good. So I'm trying to think. Um, what the frick? Why are you messaging me on Discord, Sockfish? Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll look at Discord and what I sent you and show me it. No. Fine. There. See it? It's cool. Alright. Now we need to add the um, armor into the thing. Or we're going to do the uh, animal first, I think. So you open this program right here. Okay.
Okay. Um, I'm trying to think what kind of mob do we want? We could add... Hmm, well, let's see. I don't know how to do the legs is the only issue. A duck bear. Uh, so look at Discord on stream. Hmm, hi. Hello, Atomic Pig. You missed it, Saber, Duck Bear. You liked what I sent, Salad. I don't... Okay, whatever. Um, I don't know how mobs work in this, so we're just gonna add a uh, pig model. Here, let me just import that real quick. Um, Minecraft pig Jason. Minecraft mod editor with editor pig. No, go away. <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's see. A crayfish model. Mr. Crayfish's model creator. Well, I want to see like what other um, creations there are. Um, okay. Mob. Okay, let's see what like the program looks like to add a mob first of all. So we have to go into here. Add mob. Create mob. Um. See ob. <laughs> Model. Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, mob model bounding box. Spawn egg. Uh, health bar. I don't know what biped is. Okay, yeah, so if you want a custom one, you just import it. Uh, texture file of mob. Okay, so I'm gonna have to save a texture file then. All right, let's see what you guys are saying in here. Holy crap, I just got spammed. Uh, a duck bear, you like the way I sent it? Yeah, yeah, nice, it, it is a bot. Make a turd bear, what? Shark seal, robotic sub seal. I like that idea, dude. Actually, yeah, I do like that idea. We could make it spawn in the cellar liquid. That would give it some use. I like that. All right, we're gonna open this again. Um, we're gonna add a seal thing, an underwater animal for the feather, um, and it will drop uh, parts to make a bigger mob. That will be a boss. So right here, add positions. Nope. Like this. There we go. We're gonna expand it. Um. Let's see, what do I want this mob to look like? Um, trying to think. We could add, we could make a random creature. So I'm just gonna make it kind of look like a fish. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go bam. It'll just be like a barracuda kind of. And I actually want it smaller. There we go, and position backwards. There we go, that's a good size. So then we're gonna call this main body. Then we're gonna duplicate that. We're gonna call this part the tail body. So we're gonna shrink this and make this one uh, position is going to be 7.5 and we're going to start pushing this back we're actually going to make that go like that and go up 1.5 and we're going to just call this regular tail tail up 
copper. And then this one will be like that. So I'm gonna go like, uh, nope, like that. Rotate it like that. Uh, size expand and then go down that way. Perfect. And then we'll call this tail lower on rotation. Rotate it like that. Like that. And like that. Perfect. <laughs> it's a good looking fish. This is an off brand blender. Yeah. So a robot that looks like a seal and has a face like a sub salad. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, this is a knockoff of Blender, kinda. It's just supposed to be a little easier to use. And I don't know how to use Blender, like, at all. So. There, look at that amazing fish. <laughs> um. <laughs> so stupid. I'm gonna give it a big head. Um, nope. There we go. Kind of looks like a hammerhead shark. Let's make it bigger though. That's actually pretty sick, I like that. It looks harder. Or I could make it smaller, I suppose. Okay, then we'll go like this. Then we'll put the eyes on the side. Yeah, right there, we'll put the eyes there. So, now we need to texture how we want the fish to look. Um, so yeah, let's make some textures for it. We'll open paint on that. And now we're gonna go file, new, 16 by 16. And then we're gonna create a little scaly picture, so. I'm thinking we make it gray, maybe a little lighter gray. This song is super hype right now. <laughs> Let's kind of do it like the Ender Dragon's kind of textured. So these kind of look like scales. So we're just gonna Do this. Yeah, just like that. So these kind of look like scales, don't they? Little fish scales. Hopefully, it, like laps nicely. Yeah, it will. All right, cool. So up, 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 down, and down, up, 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 down, and down. Yeah. And then file save as. Um, this song is good. Turkey, bear, duck, robot. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so we're gonna call this fish scale one. We're gonna save that to desktop. But now I need to make a little thing for the eyes. So we're gonna go like, that. And we're also gonna go like, just in case I want eyes on the other side, we're gonna go like, Oh, let's save this file save as fish scale to i1 i'm gonna go like that like that save as fish scale three i2 and then bam we're all set so now 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to main body faces and we're going to select a texture new texture and we're going to get all these fish scales in here a uh, new texture fish scale now we need i1 select so we're going to just do regular fish scales for the body until we do the sides so we're going to do south wait a minute we can just copy north copy and south paste and then for up paste then for down paste this is gonna look like a silverfish kind of <laughs> holy pigs I only have like seven um yeah so now we need to do this side so we're gonna go to uh east select we're gonna do this eye that's the wrong eye <laughs> um okay we're actually gonna select this eye for that side look at that beast <laughs> and now we're gonna select west select this eye we're actually gonna move this over Um, we're gonna go like that. So, bam, the eyes in the front now. I we, I need to get this part fixed. Um, mouth, even though it's not really mouth. Um, so the size needs to be like one point nine or something. It needs to be moved over just a smidge. So it needs to be moved that way. So we're gonna do seven point zero five. There. Look at that. Now it looks better already. All right, so then the tail body is going to have the same type of face. Right there, copy, paste. East, paste. South, paste. West, paste. Up, paste. Down, paste. Perfection. And then for the tail upper, paste. Paste. <laughs> Paste, 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 <laughs> and paste. Killer. So clearly, I'm not good at making mobs and textures. Cameron Simon says, "Yeah, yeet, nice." Uh, did this fish <laughs> do something to you? <laughs> yeah, we we've had a pass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I suck at doing this. <laughs> this fish looks terrible. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, let's do the mouth now. Paste. 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 D whites. Alright, there we go. <laughs> dude, our fish is balling, dude. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, save project as fish and now file export json as fish <laughs> export okay so I'm not going to close out of this yet we're going to import the models now so we're going to go import mob uh, on desktop I'm pretty sure so why would it be a PNG? This is a mob. Or no, that's not like a Jason though. Import job, import Jason model. Yeah, as you can see, I've done crap. <laughs> this fish scale. Import textures. Fish scale. Fish scale I one. Fish scale I two. Okay, there's a fish scale. Okay, which one's I1? I forgot. Um, it's gonna be backwards, I'm gonna laugh. Dude, this song is hype. 
save mappings. Okay, now we're gonna scroll down. No, I want my own custom model. Texture. No, shut up. <laughs> Workspace. Mob. Seab. <laughs> I want my own. Name a mob. Seab. Mob label. I don't know. Texture file mob. Oh boy. I don't know what a biped is. Too bad Metallica's copy, right? I know, right? Wow. What's up with you guys in Metallica? Wait, what's this? Only works for biped and zombie models. What the heck is a biped? Okay, main hand, offhand, helmet, body, leggings, boots. Um. Yeah, I can be occasionally holding a, I don't know, a Ritanium ingot. <laughs> uh, from computer. Why does it have to be a PNG? What if I want to add a freaking fish? <laughs> How do I do this? Who is, okay, Sockfish, please. Go easy. Salad is big dumb. Shut up, you guys are bullying me. Um, select if you want to be boss with a health bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, can I add my own mob? Workspace. Um, resources. What if it's not a texture? What if I want to create my own mob? Mob model bounding box. Okay, whatever. Next page. Need to have a texture. You know what? Just take that. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's a water mob. Um. Oh no! This is falling apart. I'm gonna have to do a video dedicated to just the mobs. Okay. So before I go to bed, we're gonna need to make a tool thing real quick. So I do want this stream to be like Name of the armor Okay We're gonna call this uh, Quartzite armor I'm gonna add this next episode I'm getting way too tired for this Um Okay let me mute this stream Thanks for watching Hope you guys did enjoy If you did be sure to leave a like down below Comment, share, subscribe, favorite and all that stuff guys I'm getting tired I can't upload ret <laughs> fish armor <laughs> yeah I gotta go to bed I'm like delirious um <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna go to bed now uh if you guys want to see another stream let me know uh yeah I'm gonna add more stuff probably um yeah thanks for watching and um peace out